guys, welcome back to my Practically Imperfect Life. Today I wanted to share a couple of new homeschooling resources that are going live on my shop page and that is going to be linked down below in the description box for you. I have been working on putting together new things based off what I've been looking for as a homeschooling mom and just haven't been able to find anywhere. So I thought, well, I will just create it, but also from listening to what you guys have been saying in the comments and in the emails about things that you have been needing and wanting. So these are just a couple of new resources that are getting released today. And then I'll give you a sneak peek at a couple that are kind of in beta testing mode. And by beta testing, I mean, I'm using them at the moment. And as long as I don't see any issues with how they work, then those will be added up before too long. So the first thing I have is a free resource and this is a back to homeschool checklist high school edition. Now you might look at that and go, oh mercy, that is a ton of things to get done before the school year. But hear me out. There are a couple categories on here that may or may not pertain to your student. For example, there is a section of tasks to do if you have a dual enrolled student. There is a section if you have an athlete. There is a section if you have a rising junior who is going to be doing testing like the PSAT or the SAT, ACT. So those are on there for you. Then there is a section on cleaning up your homeschool space or setup for the homeschool space. There's curriculum, there's a planning section, and then there are sanity savers. I've also noted on here some things that can be done by your high schooler because by golly, they're in high school. They should be helping with things like cleaning up and setting their own desk and things like that. So homeschool, back to homeschool checklist, high school edition. So this will be a free resource. Even if you have younger kids, you could probably just utilize this and ignore the things that are pertaining to high schoolers. But there were some things that I just felt like are tasks that we have to do as parents of high schoolers related to you know, updating certain paperwork and transcripts and all of that stuff. So I thought having that all on a checklist would be super helpful. So that is a free resource that is going up on my page today. The other one is going to be for sale, but it's going to be super cheap. So don't stress about it being really expensive. And that is going to be a lab report template. Um, I talked in, I think one of my curriculum review videos, how I had really wished that I had something that looked sort of like a formal lab report or a lab sheet to have my kids fill out as they were doing certain activities. So I made one. Uh, so this is a four page document that you get. So two pages are the template and two pages provide instruction to your student. So it is a, a lab report form here and they can fill this out for all different types of labs. So uh, it takes them through a title, introduction, hypothesis, materials and method, results and data, and conclusions. So the first two pages are the template itself. The second two pages give your students information about what should actually go in each of these boxes. So just a brief explanation of what, you know, what they should be putting there. So you could, uh, you know, print these out and have your students handwrite them. Uh, if you have the ability to edit PDFs, they could type them in, but I think it'd just be easiest to have them handwrite them. And then maybe later on, if you're teaching them how to type up formal lab reports, which you don't have to do, but if it's something you want to teach your kids, they could use that information and then type that up into a word processing program. So that one is going up and I think that will be super helpful. Then I have one for preparing like morning basket and group work. I always found that when I'm putting in all the rest of my homeschooling information, like electronically, as I was typing things in, our, our group subjects when we were doing them just worked a little differently because we, we moved at different paces with that stuff. Sometimes I'd be like throwing in extra things that I found randomly that I thought would fit with a, a certain topic or a certain month. And I'm, uh, I love pen and paper. I, I love to be able to have you know, really pretty things to write on and to track things on. And I thought, well, what about planning pages for morning time or for group work? So this resource is one that anybody who's going to do a morning basket or a family like group studies could utilize. Uh, it is 12 months of themed out morning basket planning pages. 
So there are sections on each page. There'll be similar sections on each page where you could put if you're going to have a theme or topic for the month. If there is memory work you want to do with your students, so maybe they're memorizing a poem, a Bible verse, a hymn, and you want to make note of what it is they're going to be memorizing. What are you doing for Bible study? Are there devotions you're doing, books of the Bible you're reading, certain stories, um, enrichment items? And again, this could be up to your interpretation. What do you consider enrichment? Are you doing a particular nature study focus? Is there a handicraft that you're working on? Um, are you doing a cooking project as a family? Are you making something? What, what type of enrichment are you doing? Be like composer studies or something like that. A uh, rotating schedule, uh, rotating subjects. So are there things that are being done on certain days of the week or once one one week out of a month? I mean, there like, people do morning basket schedules all different kinds of ways, but a lot of people do rotate subjects. So rather than talking about eight different things every single day, they might talk about two different things each day, you know, just kind of rotating them. So what are you doing for any rotating subjects? And then what are you doing for read out louds? So I said it was 12 months and I didn't want to do everything the same. So I'll just kind of show you um, some of the pages here. I just wanted some things that weren't going to completely kill the ink on your printer, but I like pretty things. I thought maybe you guys would like pretty things as well. So this will be another PDF download. You'll get the whole bundle of 12 in that. And I had some fun with these. Oh, goodness, I'm dropping things, of course. So while I'm flipping through these, let me just say, guys, I did get that bookcase that I mentioned in my last video, my, my vlog about cleaning up the home store room. Are all of the books on it yet? Nope, but we are getting there. All right, last one. Okay, there you go. So those are three resources that are going to be live today. So you have the Back to Homeschool Checklist High School Edition. You have the lab report sheet, and then you have the bundle of 12 morning basket planning pages. Now, there are a few things that are kind of in beta testing mode. As I mentioned, they will be up really shortly. Something that was requested was some sort of a list of all of the different types of homeschool electives. I mean, well, obviously it's not going to be an exhausted list, but, or an exhaustive list, but a list that contained a lot of ideas because that's kind of what I did with my kids is I jotted down everything I can think of as a homeschool or a high school elective and I showed it to my kids and I had them kind of pick and choose what they wanted to do. And somebody had requested that I share that list. Well, you know, I can't just share the list. That would be just too easy. So I'm putting together a list and it's almost done that will have categories with different classes, but then I've been going through and linking different curriculum companies and programs that have curriculum that might work for, for that particular course. Now, it's not an endorsement for those companies. It's not saying like, oh yes, you should choose this one, you should choose that one. It's simply me doing some of the research for you and putting it on there. So if you're looking for an electronics course, here are three or four different places that offer an electronics course that you could check out. And then if you need to look for something different, you could continue that search on your own. So just working on like the formatting of that to make sure I'm happy. And then the second one that is pretty much ready to release, I think I'll probably have it out sometime next week, is a new version of a lesson planner. So last year I showed you guys that um, I put in, you know, my yearly lesson plans into an Excel document where I typed in everything for each day that I was doing for each subject with my kids. And then I would copy and paste that into a Word document that I printed out to put into their planners. And that worked pretty good. I mean, it's not that it it didn't work, but it was an extra step. You know, I had to put everything into Excel and then once a week I had to sit there and, you know, copy and paste it into the Word document and make sure it stayed formatted and all that stuff. And I just wanted to get rid of that step. So the new planner that I'm going to be releasing, it still has an Excel template where I'm entering in all of the lesson planning, but it is auto 
filling out, how do you say this? If what I enter in on one sheet will autofill what is set up on another sheet and the other sheets are formatted to be printable planner pages. So if I type in math assignments or reading assignments and things like that in the main planner, it's gonna autofill the planner that I'm gonna print out for my kids. If I push something down a day, it's gonna push everything down a day in the main planner. So I'm hoping that that will be something that will be helpful. I, you know, there are uh, different programs out there you can get that have digital planners that do something similar, you know, like, um, oh, what's the one? Homeschool Planet or something like that. But they are expensive. And not only are they expensive to just have access to the programs, but a lot of times you have to pay to have the right to have like the lesson plans from a curriculum company pulled in to that document. And while yes, there is work on my end when I have to put in that lesson planning information initially, it's also much less expensive to just do it in a DIY format on Excel. So I'm hoping that this will be a resource that will end up being helpful to you guys. Like I said, it's in beta testing mode and I'm just putting in all of my own lesson planners, my lesson plans right now. And then I'll look and make sure that everything printed correctly, everything formatted correctly, and then I'll get that released probably in the next week or so. So those are the new homeschooling resources that are being released today in my shop. So again, I will have the link to my Buy Me A Coffee page down below for you. In that shop tab on that page, you're gonna find all kinds of resources that I've been creating and sharing over the last couple of years, including the free transcript workbook, you can find my Christmas Around the World unit study. You can find my practical life skills unit uh, semester study. There are copies of old templates we've used for lesson planning, the high school outline page, all kinds of different things. So these will be added up onto there. Let me know down in the comments, what kind of resources have you been on the hunt for for your homeschool? Or what are different things that you've been wanting to have to help you get organized that maybe you haven't been able to find or you have seen them, but they are just way out of a, a reasonable price range. Like what are things that can be created to help you? Let me know because I really do enjoy creating these different products and I want to make things that are going to be beneficial to everyone out there in the homeschooling community. Thanks so much for joining me for today's video, everybody. I will see you in the next one. And until then, happy homeschooling. Mm -hmm.